In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to poach the perfect egg in three different ways. So let's get straight into it. Before we get into these three methods, there's two things that we absolutely have to make sure we're doing every time. Firstly, we need to source the most organic, free range and freshest eggs we possibly can. Not only is this the ethical thing to do, but it's also gonna make our poached eggs taste amazing. So please make sure before you start, you go and get your eggs from a local farm or a neighbor or a local farm shop, rather than getting them from the supermarket where the eggs are mass produced and the chickens are mistreated. And the second thing to get right every time, whether you're using a large pan or a small pan, is to bring your water to the boil and then reduce it to a simmer before you place your eggs in the water. Method number one and probably my most used method is just taking a small frying pan, filling it three quarters away with water. Like I said earlier, bring that water to the boil, then reducing it to a simmer. And then I just put a teaspoon of white wine vinegar or apple cider vinegar into the water and stir that around. That will hopefully just stop the egg whites sticking to each other if we put more than one egg in the pan. I try not to break the eggs directly into the water because I don't have a lot of control over that and I'm generally not very good at breaking eggs. So I tend to break them first into a ramekin or into a glass and then very gently I lower the ramekin or glass into the water's edge and just let the egg slide into the water. Now, depending on how hard you want your egg, you're gonna leave this in here probably for three to three and a half minutes. You can always shape the egg as well with the metal spoon like I am here whilst they're cooking. And after the three to three and a half minutes when the eggs are cooked, use the same spoon, same slotted spoon, just take them out of the water nice and gently, let them drip there for a few seconds, and then just take the egg over and dab the back of the spoon on a paper towel just to take off any excess water and serve the egg fresh on your chosen dish. Method number two, I'm gonna change the pan. I'm gonna get a bigger pan. Again, I'm gonna fill it about three quarters of the way with water, bring the water to the boil, reduce it to a simmer, and I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vinegar again to this pan of water. Then I'm gonna get my metal spoon and I'm gonna stir the water really quickly till we generate a vortex in the middle of the pan. And after I've broken my egg into a ramekin or a glass, it's into this vortex I'm gently gonna slide my raw egg. And you can see straight away that the egg follows the vortex and it collects all the white of the egg and generates straight away this beautiful round poached egg shape. Again, keep an eye on the egg for three to three and a half minutes. When you're ready, take your slotted spoon, gently take the egg out of the pan, dab it on the kitchen paper, and again, you've got a perfectly poached egg ready to serve. Just bear in mind that you can only cook one egg at a time in the pan using this method. Method number three, we're gonna keep the same pan, three quarters of the way full of water, but we don't need the vinegar this time. Instead, we're gonna get a piece of cling film. We're gonna lay that across our chopping board. We're gonna lightly oil the cling film, and then we're gonna line the ramekin with our cling film. We're gonna break our egg. We're gonna pop it into the cling film and into the ramekin and then picking up all the sides of the cling film, we're gently going to seal the egg into the ramekin. And once you've done this, you can actually prep as many eggs in this fashion as you like, so that when you cook the eggs, they'll all cook at the same time. And the benefits of this method, cooking the egg in the cling film, is you can prepare several eggs here in one go, and then you can place them in the water at the same time, so all the eggs will cook and be ready at the same time. Now we're gonna transfer our egg in the cling film and we're gonna lower that gently into the simmering water. And again, we're gonna leave that in there now for about three to three and a half minutes. Once your egg's ready, carefully lift the cling film out of the water, place it back on the chopping board, cut the cling film away, and there you have it. Method three, another perfectly cooked poached egg, ready to serve on your dish of choice. I hope that was helpful to everyone. It took me years to learn how to cook a perfect poached egg. And there we go. There's three simple ways that you can do that now yourself. If the video has been useful, if you've liked it, please pop down, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well. That'd be really great. Take care and I will see you all again in the next video.